Now we go to Speedway Motorcycles, and this type of racing gets wild. It's almost like hockey in the size of the rink. These guys get together, and there's no holes barred. They'll just bump you, grind you, and get you out of the way. Remember, there ain't no money in second, third, and speedway. You gotta win. And it's a, usually a four or an eight lap sprint race. And as you can see here, no matter where you are in the racetrack, you are vulnerable. Both lead riders going down. And look what happens. The third place rider gonna take the advantage. And who says there aren't snakes in motorcycle racing, huh? Here you see a little victory wheelie as they get through, bringing them through the corner. And there you see a little victory slide out. Now Speedway gets real intense, especially leaving turn number four, going into one. You come off of four, you're sliding sideways, things are going good, and all of a sudden somebody clips you from behind. Or if you're going too fast, well, you just spin around and start over again. Get too close to that PVC pipe and you're going to take people with you. And that's exactly what happened right here, right on the inside. Ducked right underneath, got a hold of the PVC, flipped the guy behind him, and then there was nowhere to go for the third man involved in the pilot. He ran right over him. Going to the outside of four. Again, a very interesting place on the race course and speedway because you've got to get up and underneath and try to get down low to take the win. Watch this one again. Rider goes to the outside. The outside rider actually starts to lose it a little bit. The momentum from the guy behind him pushes him right into the foot peg and slides them both out. Now, American Speedway is one of the reasons why we have some of the greatest motorcycle racers in the world. As you can see, the action is intense. Look at this, four abreast in the corner. There ain't no way you've got that kind of room on a Speedway track, but that's what sets these guys apart from the rest of the riders. They're used to riding in close quarters, and these kind of crashes occur often. Now, here you have the leader going in, losing momentum sideways, and boom, everybody else piles into him. Now, they'll totally restart this as more than half the field went down. Now, let's watch it again. Here's the leader. He came in very high in the racetrack, shoots down low, but gets too sideways. He starts the high side. The rider in back of him slams into him, and then the rider following him in the third spot takes out the front wheel of the second place rider. It's all typical in Speedway. The start, very pretentious. You see the handicap lines back there, and sometimes the guy who's handicapped five or ten yards thinks he's got to get to that first turn first. And here you can see him. He started on the ten-yard line, takes out the rider on the outside, puts them both out of the race, and they'll get a restart. Now, part of Speedway is trying to get that restart. If you don't gate good, go down. Take somebody with you, and you're going to restart it again. A little bit too much traction there coming out of turn one. Let's watch that again. Rider dials up the throttle right now. Here's where the problem is. He gets sideways, then he goes into the track of the other rider who's on the throttle, front wheels on the ground, there's nowhere to go. He can't put it anywhere. Clipping the rear wheels, an occurrence that happens quite often in Speedway. And like we said earlier, when one guy goes down in Speedway, he takes a buddy with him. Rider slides out, nowhere to go for the last place rider, and they'll end up getting a restart out of this one. Alcohol burning 500cc motorcycles with no brakes. That's what Speedway is all about. Now here you have what is known as an American match race. Two riders getting together to see who's the fastest. And here's a guy obviously who's got too much traction on this hot Saturday night. When Speedway's done right, it's beautiful. When it's done wrong, it's scary. And there's two riders going directly into the wall. Here's the problem. Rider on the outside gets a little bit too high and has nowhere to go, cannot come back down to the racetrack because the rider right next to him just slid into him. They both hit the wall. Now, what's great about this crash is that the rider who caused the accident is the one who's laying face down in the dirt. The guy who got taken out could have easily been in the bleachers. One high side takes two. Every time one goes down, another will